This is Kotap. I'm Marian and today I'll help you understand HTML in just a few minutes. Before we do that, let's remember from the math class. The lesser, the greater, the divided and the equal signs. For example, 2 is less than 7, 5 is greater than 3 and 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Now, I want to ask you not to bother with the numbers. We don't really care about the numbers, the comparisons or the equation. All I want you to remember is those signs in orange. The lesser, the greater, slash or divided sign and equal. So now let's move into what HTML is made out of. Well, HTML is made out of tags and tags can contain other tags or content and tags can have zero, one or more attributes and attributes can have a value which is optional. So let's explain each of them. HTML is made out of tags. So to transform any word into an HTML tag, so any word you can think of, any word you can picture in your mind, we add the lesser sign in front of it and the greater sign at the end of it. So for this, I've asked my wife to pick out a word and she came up with girl. To create HTML tags out of words we know or not, girl will become lesser sign, girl and greater sign. And that's it. Now we have an HTML tag. So there's a friend uh, next to us, Viorica, and um, I've asked her to pick up a random word and I think she was a bit influenced by my wife's choice. So she picked up boy. Okay. So boy becomes lesser sign, boy and greater sign. And we have another HTML tag. Let's continue some more examples. Flower becomes lesser sign, flower, greater sign. DIV div becomes lesser sign div greater sign. So it literally can be any word you can think of. Let's uh, let's do some more examples because this is not magic. This is as simple as it gets. Anything becomes lesser sign anything greater sign. That's an HTML tag. HTML becomes lesser sign html greater sign coding is fun becomes lesser sign coding is fun greater sign i know html becomes lesser sign i know html greater sign okay so html tags are of two types tags that contain other tags or content and tags that don't have any content also known as self-closing tags. So let's start with the first ones. We'll write the HTML tag starting with lesser sign, HTML, greater sign. And now we'll write exactly the same thing with an addition of a slash sign. So lesser sign, slash, just before the HTML tag, HTML, and greater sign. So we can put more content inside it. This one, is a tag that has an opening and a closing. The opening is the first part and the closing is the second part which contains a forward slash or a divide sign or just slash. Let's write another one. We'll start with the tag pets, lesser sign, pets, greater sign and we'll close it with lesser sign, slash, pets and greater sign. And inside it Let's add a cat. So we've added the opening and the closing part of the cat. We name it tiger and we'll add another tag dog and name it spike. So this is all valid HTML. Let's continue with tags that have no content or are self closing tags. The BR tag is one example, which stands for break, makes the content on a new line. You can write it like lesser sign BR greater sign, or you can write it as lesser sign br slash greater sign 
both of them are valid another example would be img which stands for image which you can write both ways with or without a forward slash to mark the closing of it and the meta tag and a custom tag that's a word made by me my custom html tag and i understand html and no spaces are allowed though tags can have zero one or more attributes let's see about this one we start with the html tag we close it and we add the space and then the word lang that's how we add an attribute the attribute with the name lang can have a value and in order to assign a value to that uh, attribute we follow it by the equal sign and we put the value enclosed in double quotes that's the recommended way that's what i always do and we can have more content in there let's see some more examples the img tag will have an attribute of width and the value of 100 and another attribute of alt and the value of nice image let's start with the meta tag we'll add an attribute name with the value of description and an attribute content with the value of understand html in just a few minutes let's do pets now we'll add cat and cat will have the name of tiger and let's add an attribute playful which will have no value it will be just the attribute and another attribute cute so we can write this in one line or we can write it in multiple lines for example we'll start with the dog attribute dog html tag and we'll put the content of it a spike and the dog will be we have an attribute which will um, tell us that the dog is friendly and the dog is also energic so let's start with another tag person this would be a self-closing tag so this person will have an attribute of age with the value of 2 and the date of birth of 25 of February 1992 notice that the value of this attribute date of birth has spaces in it so when you have spaces in your value you must always enclose it with single quotes or double quotes if you don't meet the quotes simple or double quotes it means that the value of date of birth would be 25 remember we are talking about if you omit the double quotes and then february 1982 will be treated as attributes so in order to make sure that we don't make that mistake when the value of the attribute has spaces in it we enclose it in single or double quotes and let's uh, let's add the height with the value of tall and the address with the value of private and this is an example where we enclose the value in single quotes which is perfectly valid it's just um, I, would, I would recommend you to pick one and stick with it and if you wanna do just like most other developers do just use double quotes everywhere and you'll be fine okay so this is how a real html example looks like this is uh, very very close to any web page that you'll see on the web it's just a simplified version so all we've learned it's present in this final example we have an html tag and inside it we have a head and a body the head contains a title and a meta which uh, is used for search engine optimization like, like google search engine being search engine and so on and the body has a title that's h1 which stands for header one and after it it has a custom pet tag and inside pet tag we have a cat that's playful and cute with the name of tiger and a dog that's friendly and energic with the name of spike so that was uh, all i wanted to uh, reveal to you about how to write html and for you to understand html it's as simple as it gets there are no more other hidden rules all you have to do now is write a lot of html and do a lot of practice in order to master it see you in the next lesson